going to see just as many tries this game because these 20 boys can attack. So we'll see what uh, Queensland start with here. Yeah, talking to Queensland coach last night, Chris Loth, obviously not too uh, happy with the performance, said that Queensland definitely weren't at their best. They've got a few things that they're looking to uh, work on. Uh, on the flip side, though, in the New South Wales box, um, they're obviously happy with the, the victory. They know Queensland are going to come out. It's probably going to be a tighter tussle in game two. Traditionally, that's the way it goes. But uh, just more of the same for, for them as what they saw in, in uh, game one. Yeah, definitely more of the same. I, I, they had Hemi Nebel play a really good game. Uh, Luke Moffat, uh, everyone's obviously that's watched touch football, heard his name over the last couple of years as well. So uh, definitely a lot of experience in the New South Wales side. And they stood up yesterday. Referees officiating this one will be Jordan Randall. Who's out in the middle at the moment? Michael Littlefield and Zach Genrick controlling things here this morning. Conditions starting to warm up a little bit. Still currently 14 degrees. Still a little bit of light dew across the surface. And moments away from the Hooter sounding to get game two underway. And here we go. Queensland in possession to start this one. And Bob puts it through the hands. And we're going to see a physical game. It was physical yesterday. Pro. Oh, sorry, Cox with a great ball. Beautiful start here from Queensland. Shaping to go out the back there, Zane Cox, and hits Edwards with an absolute peak. That is a ripping start from Queensland. Yeah, that's the that's the start that they needed. You see them just run at pace. Bob drives in to Cox, and Edwards just steaming through a short hole with Bob out the back. That's a great start from Queensland. And physical here from Alex Condon. Moffat plays it. Outside the seven. Looking to skip straight into defence. Couple of little shoulders as well. Welcoming Lennon into the match. As New South Wales. Just palm it over the sideline. They go to a little ML play, Scotty, but what most people probably didn't see as the link, Jaden and Beaky on the close side to us, actually pops up and helps his middles and gives time for Ryan Ward and Blaze Prendergast to actually make a read and easily defended there in, by Queensland. So Coach Chris Loft obviously have them up for this one. Great drive there, Clark Castles. Rolf now does the same on the next touch last for them. Picks up into half and Carlton's into the in-goal area and they have scored again. This is a ripping start here for Queensland. They have come out all guns blazing. That perfect start. And it all started in that set from the drive of Clyde Castles. And then you give someone like Guy Carlton a chance to pick up at speed. And speed he has. Finds Cox. Queensland up by two. Catalano went back up in the midfield. A bit of space out here on the left-hand side as they put it through. Big diving effort. Felicia Frost. On the right-hand side for Queensland. New okay. South Wales, though, have players like Catalano Jr. A bit of space off the fingertips and a little bit of room to move as well. And I'll take this arch. Jaden Mbici reeling that one in. And the penalty will go towards Queensland. Solid contact after the intercept was taken. On the back foot here, New South Wales, and it continues. Queensland restart with Cox. And that is from half. Ryan Ward, again, nice solid contact. They play on now. Prendergast, ooh, pass probably didn't need to be to be thrown there early in the touch count. And Prendergast wasn't in position to be able to reel that one in. New South Wales now on the return. Pretty good start on their opening touches in this set. They flow into the field. Eagleton plays it, receives it back. Last touch now for New South Wales. Queensland now on the back foot into the in goal area. The Blues go. Good scramble defence. Touch made there. Dylan Bissett couldn't quite get the ball down before the Queensland defence got there. Christopher Lennon getting in goals there. Another one who had a great game yesterday was in absolutely everything. Castles, Rolf's forward, Rolf again, Carlton, 
Set up the last try with the acting half run. Marshall gets on the outside. Beautiful touch coming in and reading that one. Dylan Bissett again after being in the action down the other end just a moment ago. Comes in and makes a big touch to shut that attacking raid down from Queensland. Touch one and then within their own seven metre line. Touch two only just over it now. I'm going to throw a looping pass on three. They're only just going to get towards the edge of their substitution box as the changes will come on. Picking up, looking for offside players. A little late flick out the back to Moffat. It's a little bit too late. Touching passes the call. Jane and Beachy with a great start defensively to this game. We see him stop the little ML. He takes the intercept before and catches New South Wales just over halfway, that one. Changes here for Queensland. Condon, the skipper of the team, plays it. Bob coming up the right foot. The touch. I think they thought they had another one in hand there. Big space out here for New South Wales. They come back infield. Bissett makes the touch. Matters comes forward. Adida with the ball now. We know the pace that he has. And Catalano Jr. All in one hand, dancing. Trying to get Queensland players to the bite and defence. Off the fingertips. Oh, and almost taken as well. William Hickey is able to reel that back in. It came off Queensland first, so New South Wales will retain possession with a full set of six. Almost taking the deflection and going on with it. Catalano, like, flick at the line. Casual as you like. Queensland up to the task defensively there. you got Paddy Crow. Getting out off the line. Great defensive shape from Queensland. They go to a little quarterback play. Alex Condon right in their face and the pressure forces an error. Fox takes it forward. That is from half. Oh, we got a ball down, I think, Scotty. Just a little bobble in the roll ball and gives New South Wales another great attacking opportunity. They look to switch in Moffat early in the touch count here for the Blues. A good opportunity for them to get their first points on the board. It's not going to come in this set, though. It's another mistake in the play the ball. Prendergast gets away from one. Ever elusive, links up. And they roll forward nicely with Mbici on the first touch and a juggle. And it's been taken in an accidental offside position from Queensland. That did look good to start with. Prendergast just skipping around, making metres. They get to halfway on nearly one or two touches. So, unfortunately, drops the ball there. But again, New South Wales with great field position. Queensland doing a great job to take this off them. Good chance here for the Blues. Little dummy from Zach Hunter. Contact coming in from Kaya Castle. On the last set for New South Wales, and they'll turn the ball over. Pretty much filling on the back end of the set for them. Over running it there, Connor Rolf, but they play it out the back. Kai Russell. Roll forward, gets into half and dishes again to Condon. Pro now digs in as Bob picks up, ball in one hand. It's away, tries to thread it around the back. The player's not quite there in space. It might have been on the link. Shot there, Condon coming in. But Bob looking dangerous in this match so far as well. Just holds the ball up, goes around his back. Pretty to watch. Great right. relief. Yeah, put it through the hands and pick up nice metres with Lennon. And this time it's New South Wales coming up with the mistake. Coming out of their end. Just starting to see a few of those uh, errors creeping up, particularly as both ends are coming out, trying to transition towards their interchange box. Probably not one we saw from New South Wales yesterday. They were very clinical through that part of the field. And we're going to get Condon sweeping out to the right link for something here. Can't get away. Good touch coming out, Liam Robinson. That's what we spoke about exactly with Jaden and Beachy earlier on that ML play. Oh, Bob oh. off the left foot. Running through the middle, players on the deck. You can see Robert Catalano getting back to his feet now. 
the play for Queensland. And this time, they just flick it over the sideline. Starting to see a little bit of gamesmanship even in the under-20s yeah. there. Just uh, shooting the ball over. Gives them an opportunity to get their uh, defensive set, or defensive line, I should say, set. I actually think the, the winger in Felici Frost actually tried to bat it on even further. Maybe onto the, the field two in your far side of the screen. So, just to get the defence set and up in New South Wales face. Little jinking run there from Nebel in the last for New South Wales. It's just a bit of a, a, a battle between the two teams playing between the midfield and between the seven metre lines at the moment. We see two players just come and oh, with each here? other. And two over the top, I don't think. Look like a bit of a clucky collision. And a little bit of push and shove at the back end. We Good don't work. mind that. Don't mind that in a little bit of state of origin footy. Yeah, on field referee, like Jenrick just says, boys, calm it down. There's nothing doing in that one. But that might just light a fuse here between these two teams. Felici Frost, pretty big boy too. Not someone I'd, I'd want to mess with. Prendergast now. Slides the link ball. It'll be a late pass. Coming off the flick out the back from Jaden Mbici. Contact again, and BG getting involved. Rolf does the same on touch two. Putting the ball through the hands nicely now. New South Wales as they roll forward with Edwards. Over the halfway line. They're looking to set up. Oh, flicking out the back. It's been a strong start from both teams. Obviously, Queensland went bang, bang early, but New South Wales have done a great job defensively to slow that up and get back in this game. It's going to be a good set here. Do they find Ty Charlton again? Sniffing around and gets himself into the acting half position. Oh, no. hits, hits the young man from New South Wales on the chest. He's going to streak away. I don't think Seamus Edwards is going to get there in time. And a beautiful read there. Christopher Lennon goes the full distance after picking off the intercept. And that might just be the spark that New South Wales needed. Definitely will. I believe it was uh, might have been Lennon yesterday taking an intercept as well. He finds great shape in the link. Head down straight away. Definitely what New South Wales needed after all the pressure that Queensland have had them under so far in this match. His pro is touched there from William Hickey. And we got the CQ connection here with Pro, Bob, and Cox. Match it with Condon from Brisbane. They will win themselves a six to go. And known for that little pass, Condon just holds it up and kind of shoots it from above his head. Created problems for New South Wales yesterday. Chance for Bob and Cox to go to work here. Here he goes, Judd Elk plays it, receives it back, holds the ball. New South Wales again streaming up out of the line. William Hickey putting plenty of, plenty of defensive pressure on. Bending on the right link position for New South Wales, forces Predigas to come back midfield. Cox plays it, Bob again, throws it. Comes straight off the hands there with Zachary Hunter. It's a tough one because he's literally right there and it's almost like being rocketed straight into you. There's nothing much you can really do apart from pop the shot. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it definitely hurt. But nonetheless, Bob here on the field. Oh. We're going to say down, maybe middle offside. Yeah, that electric footwork. We see so often from the young man, Jardel Bob puts it on show here in game two. To look good on the replay, bang off the left. Yeah, maybe just a, may, only one foot on the line, I think. And uh, that CQ connection in Cox and Bob, they run a little circle play, and uh, it's very hard to defend Bob while retreating one on one. So, Bob and Cox have looked very dangerous in this match so far. Great ball there, Felici Frost up to the task. They'll finish it off in the corner. Watkins 
takes the touch with Queensland. Go the long way. And the touch there from Catalano. Stems the flow for Queensland. Back to the muff they go. Putting the ball through the hands. They come out to the left-hand side. Russell plays it. Condon gets away from one. No, he doesn't. Good touch. The two number 10s coming together there. Edwards making the touch. Comes up and makes it again. Carlton looking for offside players. Won't get. New South Wales get the ball back now, and they'll be straight back onto the attack. I don't mind that from, from Queensland. Oh, I, I think we're in here. Streaking away down the sideline. Big dive in the corner as well. Finn Watkins, he's been heavily involved over the last few sets for New South Wales. He's grabbing his arm a little bit as well after the big dive, as you can see him on screen. The wrist flopping around. So let's see how this unfolded. Strong contact again. Player down just went bang. No one at home matters. Does his best to try and get there in the corner, but that is just great game awareness from Finn Watkins. And shows some toll as well just to get around. Caleb Matters, no slouch with speed, so great work, Finn Watkins. Hopefully the injury from the little swan dive isn't too bad, but now back on the attack, Seamus Edwards. Little bat over the top. I think it's gone forward off the hands. The referee is happy to say the touch was made. Gives the possession back to New South Wales regardless. They make good metres down their left-hand side of the field on touch one. The changes will come on now as they're about to roll over the halfway line. Flat ball from half. As they flow on now. Moffat plays it last touch. Nice little switch at the line. Looping ball over the top. Queensland answers the call. Great defence there, Felicity Frost. You see on the screen, that kind of just felt like it was holding there for him to take, but last touch, happy to just make the touch rather than play the ball. One thing we can all get caught in sometimes, but error here from Queensland gives New South Wales a great opportunity. Yes, a crucial moment for New South Wales. Fox starting to wind down in the first half. Still plenty of time to go, under four minutes. Down by one. If they can jag one here and put the pressure back on Queensland. After the men of Maroon look the goods in the opening stages of this match. Big looping ball. Going to dip away. They can't take advantage of the opportunity they had. Queensland taking their time. They're set extremely deeply. At the moment, Pro takes it forward on touch one. Through the hands they go. Matters now. Rolls it forward. Bob does the same. A bit of a stumble from Zane Cox. Over the halfway line. Numbers. Putting it through the hands. Uh, Condon, I should say, to Prendergast. And Six on the go. last touch. That really hurts. They did a pretty good job in the early stages of that. But that last little late. Passing uh, motion out there. Just created numbers, as you said, Jordan. Yeah, had to probably take an extra one up the sideline. But uh, created numbers with the little... I don't even really think they popped out. But just used... Threw the ball through the hands. And now they get a great opportunity. Prendergast, Carlton on the ball now. Cox on the sweep. Gets it over the top. Oh, just behind. They'll come back. In towards in the middle of the field now. Condon picks it up, throws a bomb. Matters over his head. Needed another couple of feet in the height to be able to reel that one in. Yeah, too big there from Condon. He's known to have probably one of the biggest passes in the game at the moment. And New South Wales this time go through the hands. Create heaps of metres. Well, Catalano goes forward as well. If they can complete this set, this will be a really big chance for them to hit back. Under two now left in the first half. Last touch. They switch in at the line. Oh, almost slipping in between a couple of Queensland defenders. Here is Zach Hunter. Twice now they've gone to that little play where they pick up, go short side, have a little switch through. And play four on three back that way. 
Yeah, my apologies. It was William Hickey on the last play there for New South Wales. Over the halfway line now for Queensland. Jardel Bob, who links up with Edwards, stumbles, still gets the ball out. Edwards, ball in one hand, trying to slip in underneath. And this time, Zach Hunter makes the touch. South Wales now putting the ball through the hands. They've been happy to throw it, particularly on the first and second touches to try and get forward. As Hickey jigs away from one Queensland defender, changes now onto the field. Lennon throws it back in field. Catalano links up as well. Edwards plays it. Catalano streams forward. Last touch here for New South Wales. Looping ball. Ooh, and just off the fingertip as Dylan Bissett was looking to come back in field. Queensland probably one more opportunity to get a strike dump. Just about 20 seconds to go in this half. Might be enough time to complete the set. Condon plays it over the halfway line. Condon from half here. Oh. Up, couldn't pick it up cleanly. A little bit of contact off the ball as well. And I think Alex Condon was just looking to try and wind things down. New South Wales were looking to get straight back onto the attack. So that gamesmanship you were talking about before, he lets go of the ball and probably doesn't want to give New South Wales a chance to grab it again. So holds it up, but great half of footy. It's an interesting half of footy too, wasn't it? Quite like we may mention, Queensland came out. All guns blazing, two tries, like super impressive tries as well. One from the tap off uh, and Carlton getting in from a half. But New South Wales, similar to what we saw in the women's 20s earlier on before, they just keep themselves in the game and that distance that Queensland, they just can't seem to separate them from New South Wales. The intercept really turned things for them and they go into the halftime break, only one try down. Yeah, pretty good from, from both sides. I think both coaches will be happy with that. Yesterday's game, we saw 11-7 and we've had five tries only in this first half. So look for them to uh, talk things over and have a really big second half from both sides. Yeah, it will be a big second half indeed. We'll take a quick break. Queensland, slight advantage going into the halftime break in game two of the State of Origin series in the men's 20s. Halftime score, Queensland three, New South Wales two. If you suffer from muscular aches and pains, you want a massage gel that provides effective relief. Try Physiocreme. Physiocreme contains menthol and naturally derived active ingredients. Arnica, Hypericum, Calendula, Malaleuca. Use Physiocreme for the temporary relief of muscular aches and pains. Physiocreme is available at your local pharmacy, Coles and Woolworths. Use Physiocreme.
Second half not too far from getting back underway. Game two of the men's 20 State of Origin series. Queensland slight advantage in the halftime break. Up by 1-3-2 is the current score. Queensland looking to send it to a decided later on. New South Wales looking to claim the series victory again this year. Jordan, big second half coming up. Where's it going to be won? Uh, I think it's, it's in the midfield. Uh, we saw yesterday New South Wales was so clinical and you see an error right there. Uh, and Queensland probably have won the midfield battle so far this game. So from a tap off from the second half, that's not what you want. Uh, Queensland might have seven on here. Yes, they do. Yeah, and Zach Jenrick. Yeah, he's picked straight it up. Right onto it. Yeah, so they'll be disappointed after coming out with the perfect start, forcing the area, bearing, being physical in the ruck as well, and just a little play like that where they've really got to be clinical. At, in the big stage in games like this, you've got to get those ones right. Got to get them right, but we uh, start back where from from halfway. We get the, New South Wales get a second chance at the half time tap. So it's almost like we've started again. We've wiped the slate clean. The second half gets back underway now, where it probably should have been to start with. As the Blues are on the run, on the attack, looping ball, running out of space, and over there to enter the call, Felicity Frost. Blues have proven their defensive line. Queensland with four players on it. Oh, no, five. Caleb Matters is stuck out there. And the depth that you spoke about earlier. Bob, straight onto the ball. Sees it back again. Penalty given. Good there from Queensland. The, the depth is there. They probably don't make that many metres on touch one and two, but three, four, five, they start to get a roll on. They're going to have a great end to this set. Oh, we've got a ball down, maybe. What a jittery start from both teams in the second half. Over oh. the mark. Wrong touch. Ryan Ward. And will be penalised as well. No. Happy just to play the ball and carry on. Moffat dishes from half. Kiki. Oh, my apologies, that was John Paul Catalano in the number 30. Changes come onto the field here for New South Wales. Eagleton decides to kick out and have a switch himself. Oh, little dink over the top. And last touch. Queensland straight on the ball. He's already showed a, a bit of pace, Eagleton. Tries to go for it there. A little bit sloppy probably in that rucking area for both sides at the moment in this second half. Let's see who can clean that up first. Guy Tarleton out of half. Picks it up. Comes off the right foot. Flicks it out the back. Nicely taken from Ooh. William Eagleton. See, collision players again. The two number sixes, Zane Cox. And that man, William Eagleton, on screen. That Jenrick. Has sent Zane Cox for a fourth substitution. You'll see him just screaming off in the back play. Queensland will be able to replace him. Zane Cox just sending over for a little bit of a cool off. For a bit of contact again. Probably not a bad place to be to be sent. New South Wales going to the box. They just squeeze it over, but try to go through the pass of Christopher Lennon. Doesn't quite hit the mark. New South Wales look like they have just started to win this field position in the second half so far. Leaving the ball down the other end nine times out of ten. So That changes now onto the field for the Queensland and Beachy. Grits the teeth, gets them over the halfway line. As Edwards plays it, receives it back from Bob. Went straight to two New South Wales defenders. Bang. Had a chance to release Dan Beachy if he could have then the numbers, but New South Wales defensively up to the task and straight onto the ball. Great flow here. Liam Robinson 
going forward. They look to set. Moffat plays it. The sweep. They come against the grain, trying to thread the, through the needle, looking for six more touches. Will not get it on this occasion. Amy Neville with ball in hand. Once again, leaving the ball right on Queensland's seven metre defensive line. Great release there, Seamus Edwards. And it links up with Alex Condon. They roll forward, Ryan Ward. Prendergast sets it up. Condon switches in, Ward again. Prendergast picks it up. One-handed Condon. Ball Got behind his back, tries to pirouette through the line. He is uh, known for that, Scotty. He does uh, scored a few tries running backwards, I think, in this series last year. Caught the ball facing the wrong direction and just put it in reverse. Contact again. Moffat heads over towards the in goal, uh, the sideline, I should say. William Hickey back onto the field for New South Wales. Looks to sweep around the back. Gets it. Switches in. Lennon finds a beautiful left to right. And absolutely nobody at home for Queensland. Nice try there from New South Wales. But what about the pill there from Chris Lennon? That was a great pill. We saw it yesterday. We've seen it today. They've uh, changed up their game just a little bit and added that little switch in. They go just a normal sweep around the back, early switch and play four on three, and that's a beautiful left to right ball. That's mm. Kai Russell thought ball watching there. Flaps the hands as he watched it sail over the top of his head. Try scored by Dylan Bissett in 12 for New South Wales. Locked back up, three tries apiece. First points on the board in the second half for New South Wales is Charlton. Charlton, I should say, rips one right to left. A connection there for Queensland. Bobble off the chest. Nice work there from Hunter. Looks back up. Ball down. There's a mistake, though. A bit of a conference going on there between both teams and the referees as well. Big come from heavy contact, but... Sometimes we have to get our hand out. We have to clean the clean the ruck up. But this game has been physical, and the refs happy to let him play. Jardel Bob plays it again here on the seven meter line. Cox tries to slip away. We'll get sent back to the seven again. Just sneaky little shoulders off the ball. Just letting you know I'm here. Tom Catalano. On that previous play, makes the touch as well. They come out to the open field, nothing there. Good defence from New South Wales. And a couple times now, New South Wales and Finn Watkins have just had a little strike in the link defensively and just shot out of out of the line. Let's see if Queensland can identify that. But great work, Finn Watkins. New South Wales sweep. Moffat, they switch, and they try to go to Lennon again, off that switch. Nothing there for them this time around. Queensland transitioning with Edwards onto the field now. Ward off the fingertips, Condon there to clean up the crumbs. Prendergast, this is from half. Condon steps in. Good bit of oh, off the fingertips, trying to bat that back in field for Lacey Frost. Wasn't that too far off, actually, connecting up. It wasn't. Just grabbed that with one hand and tried to throw it back. Great ball from Condon. Prendergast on the ball. He's very fast, but no one out there. Jinting, dancing still. Getting away. Hebolt makes the touch. Moffat comes in. Cut Prendergast down again on the second. I don't know if that's a plan from New South Wales, but a couple times now they've had the link fly in. Condon gets Great hand. one over the top and it's opened up. Adler matters. They go early in the touch count. And they get points and they put themselves back up by one and in front, 4-3. Once again, Condon just pumping and pretty much just whipping that ball from above his head to Prendergast with great hands. It on the replay here. Look at that ball. Just ripping one, arching over the top. Skills on show this morning here in game two of the men's 20s division. 
Queen Clint, slight advantage. Looking to take it to a decider later on this afternoon. Zach Hunter plays it. Skip off, oh, threading it through the back as well. Big touch having to be made there. Jaden and Beachy. Got Eagleton in the middle. Injecting himself in the second half as well. New we'll South Wales will finish it off on their side of the field. And Beachy's obviously had a very good defensive ga uh, game. And oh, oh, great hands, Connor Roll. Just goes through the fingertips of Ryan Ward. That could have hurt. Very lucky to get away with it. The luck starting to turn in favour of Queensland is Cox. He grits the teeth and gets them on the front foot. Bob dishes Carlton. Bob from half early work on the back foot here. New South Wales as Cox dives in at the line. Huge touch. Massive touch. And I like this. Queensland have definitely changed their game from game one. Cox not much involved in game one, but very involved here. And he's caught, causing all sorts of dramas for New South Wales defensive line. Look like Seamus Edwards there just might have copped the straight finger in the eye. And straight back into the defensive line now. He'll be right. He's, he's oh, a mistake. tough kid, so mistakes hurting. We saw Queensland nearly come up with one the other end. Just hold on to it, but... Off the fingertips there of Finn Watkins throws the head back. Oh, and that, that could be a, a crucial moment in the game. Queensland up by one. They stretch out the two as we see... Bob sliding in underneath. It looks like the off-field referee, Jordan Randall, is going to point to the spot. And it is Jardel Bob who pushes Queensland up to a two-try margin. That's what the difference was between the two teams yesterday. Does that prove to be pivotal in game two? That's big. And they go to the exact same play. Cox and Bob, that little quickie circle play. You cannot give Queensland and, and people like Bob and Cox too many chances on your try line. So New South Wales are going to have to fix up that rucking and those little errors if they want to get back into this one. On the run, nice footwork as well. A little bit of space out here on the outside edge. And the man has got there to make the touch. With Adina diving in at the line. Big touch defensively there. Caleb Matters. Nice play from New South Wales early in the count. Jackson Queensland on the hop. Lennon in the half. He's got a beautiful left to right ball and just couldn't skip on the outside there, Edwards. New South Wales throwing questions there at New South, uh, Queensland defence. Having to scramble, but they do shut it down. Exciting play from the Blues. Queensland oh. gets their hand. On touch one. A couple of loose passes in the second half, particularly... In the early touch count. Trying to give Coach Crystal off a heart attack with those little passes. But Blaze Prendergast out of half now. Can't get away from the outstretched hands there of Edwards making the touch. They put it through now. JP Catalano over towards the sideline. Junior now as well. Heads over for a breather. Changes here. For New South Wales, Moffat, nice little pop oh. out play if that connects up. And space out here on the left hand side of the field. Lee Robinson couldn't reel it in. That looked good. Just unfortunately not going to hands. They definitely had numbers out here. Oh no, Queensland now with the errors. You've done all the hard work to get up by two. You don't want to let New South Wales in easily. And Moffat, Lennon have been great in this game already. So, looking to get on the outside there. Neville, play the ball. Reset, gets the ball back in. Lennon from half. Links one out the back. Moffat, nothing doing at the moment for New South Wales. Can they get a little bit of enterprising play? And turn the ball over on the fifth touch. Still plenty of time on the clock. Heading towards the 34th minute in the match. Queensland a little bit more crisp this time. Shifting the ball on touch one. Gardell rolls forward. Carlton dishes to Cox. Patrick Pro now over the halfway line. Ward right through the middle. Cox early ball. A little Ooh. bit of space out here. Big touch again. 
Glennon doing it defensively. He's been showing us his worth in attack, particularly in the second half, but making a big touch there as well as the penalty is given to New South Wales. Doing the right things at the moment, Queensland going 7-7, seven to seven, but you don't want to give away a penalty there. We spoke about it before. You can't give New South Wales chances at your line. And discipline just playing a part in that this set. Last touch here for New South Wales. Looping over the top there. JP Catalano left to right. Get a penalty for, I think, well, touch and pass, but also probably not giving the ball back that game from the ship. Coming in again. Queensland head towards their box yet again. Peachy goes forward. Rolf, contact, Condon. A little bit of a bump off the ball. A few referees happy that they were onside. Yeah, not much uh, Edwards could do there. He's just getting back onside and Condon somewhat runs into him, but that's a strong touch. Two players on the deck. Might have even been a head clash. See the little Caleb Matters just... Clutching at the cheek, but another set here for New South Wales. Starting to get into crunch time and probably want to get one back when they, as soon as possible. Hunter with the ball, linked up with Lennon. Now away from Moffat, who sweeps. Bit of space out there on the right-hand side. Let's come back in towards the midfield. Moffat, Lennon again. Hunter from half, gives early ball off the left foot. Oh, Prendergast having to make the touch. It was dangerous. That was close. Prendergast great on his feet, but even better attack there from New South Wales and creating dramas there. If you're Queensland, you want to complete this set. Carlton may be out of half. Bob releases back. Chardwell, he goes from half. Good the last five for Queensland. Cox threads it through to Caleb Matters. Another one on the board for Caleb. And Queensland stretching away now. That's a handy margin up by three. That's what you need if you're Queensland up by three, about three to play. But anyone who has watched touch football and is watching at home knows three tries is possible in this last three minutes. But New South Wales, massive set here in the series. Can they get it back to take it? A big moment here for New South Wales. They've got to score in this set. A little bit of space out there on the left. They turn it back in towards the midfield. Nebel plays it. Into the in goal area goes Robert Catalano. Beautiful. Nice setup. And they do respond nicely. And Queensland feel are just going to take absolutely as long as possible to get this one reset. Nicely done here from New South Wales as we have a look at the replay. Catalano Jr. just slices through and they score quickly, but as you said, the gamesmanship going to come in and Queensland are going to take everything. Watch them to probably run off the mark, come back. Uh, if they get a chance to dive at the line. Carlton plays it. Play out the back to Edwards. New South Wales need to push up, need to put some pressure on defensively. Carlton goes back to the short side. And there you see it there. Prendergast just gets touched. Run back. He's going to walk back to the mark. Eat up lots of clock here. Watch one out the back. South Wales looking to go down the other end of the field. Zach Hunter. Touch one. Queensland coming up out of the line as the changes come onto the field. Again, need to score this set, New South Wales. Early pick oh, up and go from half. It's Watkins into the in goal. Licked it out the back Try. of the pocket. Well, here we go. Just over a minute left in the match. Queensland again will take their time. Will there be enough time for them to have another possession? That's it. That's the question. They might get one or two touches in. If I'm Queensland, yes, you want to be smart with what you do here. You probably want to go to live plays, but... Go score. Take it take it away from New South Wales hands. Go score. Put yourself up too. And Bob, 
And Cox might do just that. Cox on the sweep now. Here he goes. Cox dives in underneath. Let's go of the ball. New South Wales smart. They'll go get it for him. They need to push out off this line. Take Cox again. Ball in hand. Jamie Edwards slipping around in the middle. Queensland again putting the ball through the hands, jinking away. More seconds off the clock. Bob packs down the short side. Flicks it late. Got numbers. Space out here for Queensland. Edwards sends them on. Oh, Connor go. roll. Sums it up beautifully. Comes off the right foot. And ices this game. The Hooter goes in the background. Positive finish there for Queensland. Like you said, go and get points. They did exactly that. And they'll take it to a decider later on this afternoon. Yeah, mate. It's an unreal game from Queensland there to hit back, take it to a decider. And uh, New South Wales will go back to the drawing board. And this is going to be an awesome decider to watch. Can't wait for it, Scotty. Yeah, so stay tuned. We will bring you game three of the men's 20s later on this afternoon. We now will shift our focus to game two in the mixed open. Queensland taking victory one yesterday, 15-11. High scoring, maximum entertainment. We'll take a quick break. Mixed open action coming up your way very shortly. If you suffer from muscular aches and pains, you want a massage gel that provides effective relief. Try Physiocrem. Physiocrem contains menthol and naturally derived active ingredients. Arnica, Hypericum, Calendula, Malaleuca. Use Physiocrem for the temporary relief of muscular aches and pains. Physiocrem is available at your local pharmacy, Coles and Woolworths. Use Physiocrem. <laughs> 